a lot of beautiful jewelry pieces um, from different categories like gold, diamond, uh, accessory jewelry. And um, they've got it from all over India. So they had a very encouraging response when they wanted to do this. And people from all over India applied to it. And uh, ENY has been uh, you know, uh, trying to uh, delete the pieces that uh, weren't coming up to the category through the various criteria given. And they finally come down to the best pieces. And today we are here to select the best out of the best. Um, so I think uh, the whole idea of coming up uh, with an award like this and doing it so honestly um, involving an outside agency to do it is uh, very beautiful uh, because I think that um, this create um, this uh, you know when people up so, so we they have many jewelers from tier two cities tier three cities mm -hmm. for whom um, a good design is a design that sells well so it has nothing much to do with the creativity of the design it is ki ye bikta hai ye hamara best design hai uh, but when such um, competitions happen when they come when they receive awards or they see someone else receiving an award and they see why that other design received an award so it uh, encourages um, everybody to design everything in a more creative way it makes people understand uh, especially we are looking at india full india so in the tier 2 cities tier 3 cities where um, it makes people understand that um, there needs to be an inspiration behind a design so you have an inspiration then you make a design um, then when you give it to the customer you tell the customer that you know i was inspired by um, say this beautiful rainforest and i created this neck piece for you or i was in inspired by um, Ras Leela and I created this necklace for you and all the elements of Ras Leela are in your neck piece today. So what happens is uh, the customer who's going to ultimately wear your piece, uh, when they wear it, they enjoy it a lot more because of the creative element in it. So um, it just enhances your entire experience of wearing jewelry. Uh, so in India, India is a country that loves jewelry, that loves gold. It's a part of our tradition, part of our culture. So we've come from a, a very long way from uh, having um, saw tola of gold to um, those five beautiful exotic um, statement neck pieces, <coughs> statement earrings. India has come such a long way where um, it's not about wearing four rings, it's about wearing one <coughs> ring that makes a statement, you know. Um, so especially in, um, in the uh, cities like Mumbai, the metros, where people have started understanding design. But it's very important that this whole understanding of design, it uh, infiltrates uh, throughout India and everybody's encouraged. And it is these kind of events that will um, make people, um, uh, you know, get into this whole modus where uh, some of them, so today we saw the neck pieces, some of them are beautiful, some of them are nowhere near the mark. Um, uh, so the ones who are nowhere near the mark will see the beautiful ones winning. So the people who've applied and who've reached the stage will be coming in, uh, in aspiration of receiving the award. Uh, but the ones that receive the award will be encouraged and the ones who don't receive the award will definitely look up to the necklace that did receive the award or the ring that received the award and it starts a whole process of understanding that acha ye isliye jeeta kyunki usme ye bahut acha tha to jab main agle saal mera form dunga to main ye ye karunga and uh, like we were discussing today that we might um, next year want everybody to even gain inspiration so it will um, so honestly um, in india in design um, I think Ada India जब design करता है तो कोई inspiration नहीं होती inspiration एक ही होती है जो बिकता है वो बहुत अच्छा piece है genuinely क्योंकि after all हर आदमी को अपना दुकान चलाना है अपना business चलाना है तो उससे हम आगे कैसे निकलेंगे उससे हम आगे कैसे लोगों को बताएंगे कि जो बिकता है वो तो बहुत अच्छा है लेकिन आप आपके customers को इससे better experience भी दे सकते हो आप अपने customers को एक तो कैसे दोगे पहले आप एक better piece create करोगे ना inspire होके तो you know, so I think all the others will start getting into that process. So it's beautiful. It's in, I think it's infant stages um, where, because I mean, the, the entire process of design in clothes in India also became popular only in the last decade. So in jewelry, I think it's still getting there. So I think it's beautiful, such kind of events because uh, they're so important for the industry. It is for the industry and it's so important. So I, I, I'm very glad that, um, you know, the National Jewelry Association has taken the trouble to do something like this. Mm -hmm. And it is really a lot of trouble and a lot of effort. So I, I, I appreciate uh, them and hats off to them. I have attended a few meetings and I have seen through the pains they've gone through. And I think, you know, um, for the National Jewelry Association to even uh, employ someone like uh, um, and Ernst and Young mm -hmm. and not do it themselves. Mm -hmm. Abhi community mein kitne -che -che log hai na? Jo ap, uh, matha, inke community ke jitne log hai, they're such um, arrived people, they're such uh, evolved jewelers. Lekin khud nahi unhone kiya, unhone ek bahar se agency li aur usko karwaya. So uh, it, they've gone through so much length to make this really good. And even the award function is being beautifully done by Viscraft. Um, I am going to be showcasing four um, 
fashion sequences in that. So I've seen the pain they've taken. So um, I think that um, a lot of appreciation hats off to them, tipping my hat at them, and I think that they should do this every year so that the entire jewelry industry reaches the next level. Yeah. Lastly, uh, as we have seen uh, Dubai's jewelry, uh, so uh, what is your favorite jewelry? Any, any, any favorite jewelry? So favorite jewelry, um, I'm uh, so since I'm a designer, I uh, I love a jewelry which is a little different. I enjoy different jewelry. I enjoy thinking that when different jewelry um, designer ne banai to usne kya socha. I enjoy removing different designs, creating them and giving it to my jeweler friends and telling them ye banao mere liye. So um, uh, so I love rings. So today I'm wearing a ring which I like very much. It's a, it's a farm ring. It's one of the new trends in rings. Um, so that and I like to wear one piece of jewelry generally, which is like a statement. I don't like to overload myself with jewelry. So um, I, I love rings, I love neck pieces. These are the two pieces of jewelry I like. Uh, they can be in different mediums, sometimes in diamonds, sometimes in gold. Off -late, um, I used to not like gold jewelry because gold jewelry, I think, we saw it in India. Mein. But off late, the South Gold jewelry came in, which created temple ke, um, uh, inspirations. I thought it was very good. Lagne lagi hai. So different, different mediums of a neck piece or a ring. Thank you so much. Yeah. I think it's a great initiative. I think it brings uh, a lot of awareness, but I think especially in this market, which is a dump down market, it's good to be talking about jewelry. And uh, also it's very aspirational, very inspirational for uh, people to, other designers to come into the foray. I do think we can up the standard a little bit of the, you know, uh, of the jewelry designs, but the initiative has been great. Maybe with this kind of, uh, um, you know, when we have like an event like this, which is a national sort of competition and, um, you know, creativity on a, on a competitive level, uh, especially with our, uh, our industry. There should be a lot of other changes we should make in the industry. Like it should become, try to help to make the designers here international because there are so many rules and regulations for designers to take their jewelry out that it is very discouraging. I mean, you can't go to America unless you follow a, a completely strict regulation where it completely does not allow a jewelry designer to grow and travel either to Europe or to uh, either to Europe or to America, which is the place where, you know, we can also... Just uh, uh, ex exhibitions abroad where we show our creativity and our talent. There is so many rules that do not make it easy for the Indian jewelry brands to go outside. Be I don't know why they do that, because, uh, you know, and they take so much money out of the jewelry designer and then they keep the money stuck for so long that it's impossible to go again. You know, I mean, it's, uh, there are one or two countries that have, they have a good uh, treaty with, otherwise countries like America and UK and all, it's completely impossible. So maybe they should look into opening up these channels and making it easier for our in Indian designers to be able to become international and global designers. And apart from that, this, this, initiative has been great. Uh, I really do think they should invite the creme designers also to enter so that our whole standard becomes more superior. As we have seen the different type of jewelry, any favorite jewelry of yours which is you find best? In? Well, we've just actually seen two categories as of now. So uh, we've seen the gold necklaces and we saw the diamond necklaces. So there are some innovative, pretty uh, designs. But like I said, we can still, we have a lot of potential and scope to take it higher. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you. So hi, I'm Pallavi Foley. Um, well, I think um, the National Jewelry Awards is a great, great focused effort towards recognizing good talent all over India. Um, as you know, India has always been like the place where um, you know jewelry has always been created, and also our craftsmanship is fantastic. 
So we just have to ensure that through this young design talent, we are able to make a huge difference. So all I would like to say is this is a great forum. Be fearless, design, come out with the best, and uh, I'm sure this award is going to be uh, really sought after in the years to come. So yeah, for all the young designers out there, all the companies who are making um, you know, some of the most spectacular products in the world, uh, just be fearless, do like fantastic products, don't, don't ever worry about how different you're getting because the idea is to break the boundaries of design. You know, which what has of, been done. Which kind of jewelry do you like? Well, I'm wearing one of uh, the pieces that I've designed. Um, this, in fact, piece uh, won me a Sobel Design Award in the US. And uh, the idea is that I'm, well, it is to be different. It doesn't matter whether you're experimenting with variability, whether you're experimenting with, um, you know, just an, a new way of setting a gemstone. Uh, the idea is to explore the craftsmanship, the Indian craftsmanship, to, a, to an extreme where it has never been done before. To go to a point uh, which has not been done. So like I keep saying, when you're designing, just leave the, your inhibitions behind, see what can be done uh, fearlessly for the future, because we are always creating new trends. And this effort of the National Jewelry awards is actually a fantastic effort. I keep going back to saying it's beautifully organized. Um, you know, there is extreme fairness. The entire industry is coming together to ensure um, that we are valuing the creativity of the jewelry industry. And, uh, you know, I was, I was called saying, you know, you have to be there. It's for the fraternity. And I've flown down from Bangalore. I'm here. I sort of came in in the morning and um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to a creative high, and uh, yeah, for the future, I'm seeing a lot of effort. Um, but come on, India! India has a lot of jewelry talent. Yeah, a lot of jewelry talent. Great. All right. Since you are in jury, so how much is 